Let us imagine the situation where all the light emitted in the point P is connected to another point, P1. Obviously, it means that light may come from P to P1 along a straight line. This is right. But how can we arrange that the light passing from P to Q comes to P1 too? We want to collect all the light in P1 again. Such point is called the focus. As the light always moves along the path, taking the shortest time to pass, it is not likely to follow the paths proposed by us. The only way to achieve this is to make the whole number of nearby paths acceptable for the light, i.e., we should arrange that all the paths take one the same time to pass. Otherwise, the light will move along the path taking the shortest time. That is why, in order to build a focusing system, we need simply to create a device where all possible paths will take one the same time to pass. It is easy to create such a device. Let us take a piece of glass where the light moves slower than in the air. Then let us track the light beam moving in the air along PQP1 line. This path is longer than a straight path from P to P1 and is likely to take more time. However, if we take a piece of glass of natural width, the path will make up for additional time taken where the light beam deviates from PQP1 path. Under these conditions, we can arrange so that the time taken by the light along the straight line coincides with the time required to pass PQP1 path. Similarly, let us assume a partially deviated beam PRR1 P1 shorter than PQP1, we need to make up for the lesser time than for a straight line structure. However, some time should be compensated for. As a result, we'll come to the form of a piece of glass as shown in the figure. Such a form will ensure that, that all the light will come from P to P1. People learned this a long time ago. Such a device is called a collecting lens.